As part of our Radio Nature series, stories of how Latinos connect to nature in powerful ways, today we have a unique conversation with renowned children's book author Jan Bosarth, where themes of nature, magic, and girl empowerment are all linked together in her children's books. First, a little bit more background about the author, Jan Bosarth. She was raised in Texas in the 1960s. She's the daughter of a Cuban mother and a Welsh father. She studied flower essences when she was 18 years old and went on to study music, art, and poetry in college. As a young girl, she dreamed of a life that would somehow weave all of these different interests together. That dream came true when the Fairy Godmother Academy book series was born. Jan, we're so pleased to have you on Latino USA. Hi, Maria. So just paint a picture for somebody who's never read one of the Fairy Godmother Academy books. Take us into the world of the Fairy Godmother. The girls in the books are modern-day girls, and they're unknowing heiresses to uh, the secret lineages of Fairy Godmothers. And all of the information that they have is what is handed down through their mothers and their grandmothers and their aunts, so the women and their family. And the only way to really train to be a fairy godmother in their lineage is to enter the world of aventuring. It's a fantasy world. They can only be entered through their dreams. Aventuring is a parallel world, having mountains and rivers and plants and valleys. And there's beauty and there's also danger, just like there is in the real world. All right, well, before we dive deep into adventuring, I want to talk a little bit about your real-life experience as a uh, uh, half-Cuban, half-Welsh in Texas, and this communication that you started developing with nature when you were a young girl. So talk a little bit about that. My father traveled the world, and he would bring me stones from foreign countries. So definitely the way I experienced the world was unique, and I would uh, sit out in the yard and feel the wind and look at the trees and stare into nature. And that was the way I created. The dreams of going back to Cuba uh, were visceral in our lives. And Cuba being an island, we were always connected to the water. I think that was probably my first love before plants and stones. So that is definitely Cuba. And the music. By the way, I write all the music for these projects. And um, so music was my first art form. So I'm always connecting through music that way, or through my Cuban mother's soul that way. So nature plays a a central and powerful role in this enchanted land of yours, of adventuring. Why this theme throughout your book? What I wanted to do was explore the natural world through the storytelling. And um, I wanted the plants and the animals in the land of adventuring to mimic the real world to, de- to a degree, but have something more magical about it. Children in general, and all people really, do experience nature that way. They may not be aware of it. I help articulate the experience for them. You have something that you want to read to us from the first book that really shows your relationship as a writer to nature. Yes, I'm reading from the very first book of the series, Birdie's book, and Birdie is the main character here. She's just arrived in New York City. She's been unplanted from her beautiful green calypha, which is what she calls California, where she was a big-time gardener, and she's living in a high-rise in New York City, and she's on her way up to see her grandmother. I had a new name for her immediately, Lilium tigrinium, the Latin name for tiger lily, a constant tropical bloomer. That's practically the opposite of Mom, who is more like a calla lily, straight and stiff and stoically beautiful. Naming people after flowers and plants is one of my games. It's a great way to pass boring hours at school. Of course, I never use the same name twice, not even for twins. I know a lot of flower names. That's so cute. (laughs) So she names all of the people after the Latin botanical names for flowers or plants. So what's your message about the importance of connecting to nature? My message is to stop, look, and listen, to appreciate the things around us, the beauty that surrounds us, and to let it inspire you, let it ignite your senses, and see where you go from there. Thanks so much for speaking with us on Latino USA, Jan. Thanks, Maria. Jan Bosart is the children's book author of the Fairy Godmother Academy book series, 
She spoke to us from KUT in Austin. For more information about her work, go to our website at latinousa.org.